Oh, oh. <gasps> Little Luco! Siri, you in? Pardon me. Oh my goodness, you guys, I think the day has finally come that we are going to be able to go to one of the other towns here in Story of Seasons Trio of Towns. So well, hello everybody and welcome back to Clover Farm. Pretty excited. We have been working really hard. We already have radish our chicken, minty our cow. We've got lots and lots of radish seeds out in the fields, a few flower seeds tucked away. We've been earning money and saving lumber like a son of a gun. And now Uncle Frank is here letting us know that another amazing part of the game has finally unlocked all right uncle frank come and tell me tell me how it is uncle frank i'm so excited oh hello oh my i totally didn't realize there was going to be like village elders from the other villages i feel kind of silly now i brought someone who wants to meet you oh hello ma'am aloha <gasps> my heart Oh, I always get so excited when anything Hawaii related comes up because of my own culture. Oh my gosh. All right. It's a pleasure to meet you, Siri. My name is Tototara. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, is it a customary hug? Oh, she's almost like doing a kulo, like a little hand gesture. All right. Aloha is our town's word for hello. That pose is also what we use when saying aloha. Want to try it? Go on, go on. I love how there's... <laughs> it's kind of like the Kulo gesture. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. I love how there's different cultural gestures and words and practices in each of the towns. That's really such a amazingly aware technique that they have added in. I really, really love it. Remember how I said the gates to the other two towns were being repaired? Well, one of them just got finished up yesterday. I am the town elder in Luluko. Since the road to our village is now open, I thought I'd give you a tour. Interested? Yes, I am! Oh my goodness, you guys! <laughs> Aren't you the enthusiastic one? Well then, why wait? Let's be on our way. Oh, this is so cool! I love her necklace, too. That's really cool. That's like something I would wear in real life. And I love her hair! I want my hair to be that pretty when I, I, I'm very old and it's just as long. And I love how we have the cowbells. Look, it's all fixed, you guys! Oh, this is so exciting! There we are. That's the entrance to Luluko. Thank you, Tototara. Oh, it's so pretty! <gasps> I have two towns I can visit from now on! I'm so excited! I'm so excited! <gasps> Hibiscus! Hibiscus! Hibiscus flowers! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I'm in love! Blue seas and white beaches, isn't it beautiful? As you can see, Luluko is an oceanside village, warm and full of flowers all year round. It's a tiny slice of paradise. This is one of the most popular spots in the village, in fact. Aren't the breeze and the sound of the waves soothing? Oh my goodness! Here is also where most of the village shops are located. Let's have a little look around, shall we? Okay, I'm in love. There's a fruit stand. There's a fishing stand. This is where you'll find the general store, the fruit shop, and the grocery. If you can get, if you get, it can get very hot in the middle of the day around here. So most shops close up for a midday siesta. <gasps> Even the shops will go on different time periods. This is fantastic. I am. Look at all of their outfits. I'm. Oh, I'm so in love. They will usually open from 6 to 10 in the morning, then 7 to, uh, let's see, then, oh, I have to do the math really fast, then 5 to 10 in the evening, if I read that correctly. That is so what happens. We were, we, when we went to visit Hawaii, and of course my family's always talked about this, but it's like Hawaii time. The shops have the funkiest hours, and sometimes they're just not open at all. Sometimes they're open later than they say they would be, and like people are just hanging out there. It was really fun. Aloha, Tototara. Taking a visitor on this tour? Oh, this is so fun. Uh, Kaulia. I'm gonna call her a Kaulia. Aloha to you. We're on a tour, yes, but this is no ordinary tourist. Siri, this is Kaulia, the owner of the grocery store. Oh my goodness, I want her outfit. I love it. Uh, Kokomai, Kokomai, good to meet you. I'm Kaulia. Oh, Kokomai, that's our word for welcome. Ah, and we do the Kulo gesture. I love it. I'm so happy. I can't even. So your name, so you're Siri. A nice name. That, very nice. 
I live here with my husband and two children, a son and daughter. Come and visit us sometime. We live in the house over there. Oh my goodness. Maybe they'll let me eat dinner with them. Siri, let's move on to the next place. We'll see you later again, Kalia. Have a good day. Oh boy. Can I decorate my house with like stuff from this village? This way leads to the Seaside Cafe, our local restaurant. Oh, and the music. I am, I am just so in love. <sighs> who was the coconut, uh, empty coconuts for brains who left the squid sitting out here? That's a good question. A squid? A squid? Oh my gosh. I bet some fool went fishing last night and left it here. But if they were going to forget their catch, did they have to leave it on our restaurant tables? Unbelievable. Unsightly. Unsanitary. I love their flowers. Hmm, squid. What to have with dinner that goes with squid? See, Luca, now isn't the time to be thinking about dinner. We can't open up with that slippery, slimy, disgusting thing sitting on our tables. Oh, true. Iluka, could you clean it up? Oh, no. Don't go trying to dump this on me. We can clean it up together. So these two sisters are a couple of the bachelorettes that you can possibly marry. My, my. What's all the shouting for, dear? Oh, boy. Graham, look at this. Just look who... Wait, who's that? This is the new farmer who moved in near the crossroads. I thought I'd come introduce you. Oh, that's so. Hello, hello, I love your hair so much. Yeah, I should do the little uh, Kulo wave. So, Siri, is it? I love how there's just a squid on their table. I'm Iluka. I own this restaurant. Oh, this is so fun. And this is my sister, C. Luca. This is so cute. I love how the flowers are just like falling from the air around her. Like she had some sort of special goddess touch. Aloha, Siri. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is so fun. The girls spend most of their time running this restaurant, but they also all are they also are our village priestesses. They conduct various ceremonies and help out any villagers in need. That's such an interesting mix. I could see Luca behind the uh, table, like behind the counter there, slamming down drinks and being like, so I can help you out. What do you need tonight? Like putting in, oh, that's just, oh, that's so funny. Okay. Say, I know, since we're getting all buddy buddy now, how about you come and help us clean up this mess as a show of friendship? <laughs> I don't think their grandma's gonna let that happen. That's so funny. I would just chuck the little squid back into the sea. Swim free, little guy. But I think he's long gone by now. Goodness me, you actually helped them. You are much too kind, Siri. Well, it's gotta make good first impressions. Oh well, let me show you the next area. This way now. A whole new town to be able to explore. <gasps> I wonder if I'll be able to wild harvest hibiscus flowers. I will just fall over myself with joy if that's the case. Oh wow, they've even got a fire pit and everything! Ah, this makes me want to play Pokemon Sun and Moon again, actually. Oh, this is so cool. Suddenly just everybody was like tropical inspired from making games that came out recently. It's amazing. I love it. This is a huge village! Now that oh and they've even got these beautiful little ponds with flower like little uh, fountains with flowers in front of their houses. Wow, this is huge! Quite a drastic change from the beach, isn't it? There's a jungle nearby, you know. It's teeming with all sorts of interesting wildlife. Now then, come along. Oh boy. Look at all of this. This bonfire is an important symbol to our town. With the exception of during hurricanes, we make sure it burns brightly every day. At the end of the year, we have a ceremony to extinguish the old fire and light a new one for the new year. I wonder if we'll be able to be part of that festival. That's the general store. You can find all sorts of useful things like tools and fishing rods here. I wonder if I can get fancier fishing rods. Wow, look at how big this is. And this is my home. My family runs the inn, you see. I'm the innkeeper. Whenever you don't feel like making the trip back home, you can always spend the night here. What? We serve an unforgettable breakfast. Can I really do that? That would be so cool. At the far end of the village are the ruins. Aren't they amazing? No one knows when they were first built. Not even me. 
The legends say they were built with the help of witch's magic. Oh, it looks like there's something sparkling up there. I can see sparklies. I see sparklies. Ever since any of us can remember, these ruins have been where the priestesses and the villagers have offered our prayers. That tradition still holds true, even to this day. If you'd like, I, you could also offer up a prayer to Siri. Man, I wonder if Dusty would be okay with that. To the right of my inn is the Jack of All Trades shop. More hibiscuses. From the construction to repairs to doing uh, to searching for lost pet pets, ask them and they'll do it too. Oh my gosh! See there, standing out in front of the, uh, standing out in front is the store owner. He's my grandson, Ludus. 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 Over here. Ludus, huh? Another bachelor, the Jack of All Trades bachelor. What do I think of him? What's his flower? Hmm. Hi, Nana. Is this the new farmer I've been hearing about? I gotta find his voice too. Oh, yes, indeed. Ludus meets Siri. Aloha. Aloha, new person. <gasps> his flower is different. I was kind of hoping it was gonna be a hibiscus, but I'll take a little uh, daisy. That's really cute. Aloha. I'm Ludus, the village handyman. Uh, no, that's not really him. He looks very serious. Let's see. If you ever want to renovate your house or build a farm circle, come see me, yeah? Hmm, maybe something between Wayne and Ford. Don't mind me, just muttering to myself. Oh, sorry. Farm circles are items and structures you can place around your farm. Decorations, essentially. If you have time tomorrow, I can tell you more about them. That sounds good. Great, it's a promise then. I'll come by your farm tomorrow morning. <gasps> What? He looks so happy and smiley now. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out him. He seems pretty cool. Very helpful, but without Wayne's like entirely only flirting atmosphere. And that's the tour of our village. If there's any place you're curious about, go on and take a look yourself. All of Luluco Village welcomes you, Siri. Feel free to come by whenever you like. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I'm sort of stunned. Like, I feel like I just got to see a special little scene, but the village actually isn't something I can be part of. Whoa, uncle! Hey, I'm back, uncle! What's this? What's this? Welcome back, Siri. How was Luluko? Absolutely charmingly beautiful. Good, good. You'll be able to ship crops and products to Luluko now, too. Since we're on the subject, let me tell you about shipping locations. Oh my gosh. What's this all what's this all about, Uncle, huh? Go up to your shipping box and press A to set where you want to ship things to. You can only set one place to ship your stuff at a time, though. So there's no shipping for two towns at once. Remember that. Hmm, I wonder what that impacts. If you want to change where you're shipping your stuff to, you have to change it no later than the night before. In other words, if you want to send tomorrow's shipment to Lulico, you have to set it before you have to set it to that before you go to sleep tonight. You can flip it back and forth as many times as you want before then. Just make sure it's where you want it before you sleep. Is that so I can raise the town link uh, ranking with different towns? Yeah, yeah. Oh right, your town link ranking with Lulico has gone up as well. You can check on that in the menu later. From now on, you can do business with them, just like you do with West Town. That's wonderful, Uncle! Thank you so much! I wonder what that means, though. A new town with new people to meet! I can't wait! I wonder what that means, though! <laughs> Help me farm guidebooks! What the heck?! Oh! I was so confused! I was like, why is there so much money? Okay, so apparently there's a whole bunch of little guidebooks. Into my guidebooks, please! Uh, oh, on you go, little lamp. Oh, my holy moly. Jack of all trades. Fruit shop added. Seaside cafe added. Inn added. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of stuff. Okay, into the bookshelf, you guys. We've got to figure out what the heck this means. Um, changing shipping destination. Press the A button to switch. I wonder, is that so we can affect our town link rating? Uh, using a pitchfork, figured that out already. About Lulico, uh, pretty awesome. Lulico's general stores, uh, Aquatic Plaza. Let's see. Wow, San Santo Dim Domingo is their fruit shop. Closed festivals, typhoons, and blizzards. How hilarious is that? The inn. Let's see. Uh, one night stay comes with a delicious meal. The jack of all trades. Interesting, interesting. So I think that has to do with like. Hmm, and do I have new things on my calendar now? Let's see. 
Wayne's birthday, Marco's birthday, my birthday, and I share it with Desi. And then we have that Harvest Festival coming up at the end of the month. I almost forgot about. I need to raise some happy radishes. Whew. All right. Well, to color me a little bit confused about what the why you would want to ship between two different towns. Um, I think it's to raise the town link rating. Like the more that you ship with one town, the higher the town link rating goes. And actually, I haven't checked that for a little while. So let's see. Is that this button? Yeah, look at this. We're almost up to D. We're almost up to D with West Town. That would be so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I definitely need to ship a little bit more with West Town so that I can get up to a D rating. The watering can is now full. My radishes are ready to harvest, huzzah! All right, we've got a lot of exploring to do, but I need to take care of my farm first. This is gonna be a big day, I think, you guys, because I definitely wanna run around Luluco. I'm so excited to have a tropical town to explore. Maybe even learn some new farming techniques, like new plants and things that I could have. That would be so fun. And I'm just so tickled. And apparently tomorrow, um, what was it, Luca? I can't remember his name, but he's gonna teach us about farm circles tomorrow, which sounds like a very good thing. All right, we'll go ahead and water these guys. I need to get, oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. I forgot that I was so ambitious with all of my plants. I've got some radishes at least. Um, we may be really struggling in our energy again today. Hello, Minty. How are you doing, Minty, my dear? Let me go ahead and grab my milker. Get the milk from you today. Hopefully, don't pass out while I'm doing that. Yay! All right, we'll put that away, and then let's go ahead and grab the brush. There you go, Minty. There, nice little scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. All right, Minty wants to work with me today. Did you see that? <laughs> to be able to go outside. Thank goodness. All right, let's come in and check on Radish. Radish, you have made a big mess again. How does one chicken... Uh, of course I know how one chicken would manage to pull us off. I have, I have birds of my own. I know that they tend to be extremely messy. All right, there we go. And we'll put you down. There we go. So Radish and Minty can be outside and that should hopefully make them quite happy. There's a whole bunch of butterflies everywhere. Hopefully that means I'll have Dusty come up pretty soon. I wonder if these other areas ever open up or is my farm just kind of built so it, it pretends like there's fields I could eventually wander, but there's not really. I'm gonna have to find out. All right, maybe I'll have to eat a meal today actually to make sure I have enough energy for everything. All right, oh, there's some mint, yes. All right, a little bit of mint, moondrop flower. Let's see, anything else? I have to do just a really quick uh, little cursory check to make sure. And then let's try eating a mint. I'm going to desperately eat my mint. I have, I mean, I have an egg I guess I could eat if I really needed to. And it's a pretty darn high quality egg, thank you very much, but I don't think I can eat it. Oh, maybe I could. I'm gonna try it. I ate a raw egg. <laughs> It only gave me a little bit of energy, but maybe this will be just enough energy to see me by so I can take care of all of my crops. <laughs> this may be what I needed. All right, there's that right there. Oh boy, hang in there, little energy. I don't want to pass out. I have all of Luluco to explore. <laughs> and I shouldn't have eaten that egg. It didn't give me that much, and it would have been better off to save that and use it. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, the egg would have been better off to ship, but I was a little desperate. All right, and then you can change the shipping destination. I'm just gonna go ahead and ship to West Town today because I think it's going to help me out a lot uh, when it comes to, and let me go ahead and sell this milk. There we go. But I think shipping to West Town continually is going to help me out a lot when it comes to almost being at town rank D with them. I probably really wanna commit to that. All right, so you guys, I wanna explore Luluco today. Normally I would spend my day in West Town, but we have a whole new town to explore. <gasps> Look at this! This is- there's a kitty cat! There's a little kitty cat! Oh, and there's a woman named Naru! Swimming in the ocean is so relaxing! That's why I love coming to Luluco. That's so cool! Oh, there's a turtle! There's a turtle, you guys! <gasps> Look at him! <gasps> seashells. Seashells! You can come and collect coral and seashells and there's so much of them. I'm so happy right now. Words, words don't even. Look at these, I can smell these. Oh my gosh, okay, I've gotta read the description. Sorry, my, my jaw was literally on the floor and I couldn't quite manage words. 
Uh, the scallop is a fish, a clam you can find year round. It was once believed that the clam could swim by using its shell like a sail. Hmm, that's interesting. Coral, a piece of coral that was deposited on the beaches of Luluco, often taken as a memento by tourists. The Venus comb murex, a shell you can find from time to time. Its long spines make it look like fish bones. This is so interesting. I wonder if there's some of the villagers who would think that these were really great gifts. And look at how many there are. And I can ship them. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm so rich on, on just little seashells. I wonder. Oh, wait, what? Fish trap point? If you had a fish trap, you could set it up here. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. You guys, how cool is that? What is this? It's so cute. And there's little there's little turtles and a diving beetle. I found beetles in the water. This is the best ever. And what the heck is this? A blue quill? What do you mean a blue quill? I'm too happy. This is too amazing. Blue plumage from a wild bird. It's soft to the touch. <gasps> you guys, you guys, this is... You guys, there's so much stuff. There's red quills. There's weeds. There's another blue quill. There's another red quill. I think it's been building up for days because because we, we've been in the different towns. So now all the wild harvest stuff is just at its peak. I just, it, I ended up with some ocean primrose just then. This is amazing. I am so in love. A flower formed from the blooms of many smaller flowers. <gasps> there's so many. There's so many plants. There's so many flowers. I just found... So much. Okay, what's the other thing I just found? I am in love. Uh, let's see. The beach vitex, a plant that has bluish flowers. From the top of the stem, several flowers are blooming. This is too amazing. This is just too amazing. I can just like say quick hello to so many of the NPCs. There's trees growing here. Hello. There's a big old puppy with a spot in his eye. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? There's a monkey. What the heck, a doodle? They can be dangerous to go up to, like without taking care. So, oh, and there's a person. Hello. Zahu. Hmm? I haven't seen you around here before. Word on the wind is that someone's moving into the farm up road. That you? Uh, I thought so. So your theory? I'm Zahu, a fisherman. If you've got any questions about anything, feel free to ask. You're welcome to come by anytime. That's so cool! When we fishers go out to sea, we usually go way out into the ocean. The boat rocks pretty hard on the waves. Newbies tend to get seasick. I bet I would get seasick. Oh my gosh. Can I go into his house? Zahu, I'm going to go into your house now. Oh, look. It's Kaoli. Uh, Ka Kalia. Except for holidays, my store is open pretty much every day. Hmm? You think I should take some days off? <laughs> I'm not so frail an extra day standing around behind my counter is going to hurt. Don't you worry. I like her. She's a workaholic too. Hmm? Oh, hi, Siri. You came at just the right time. If you're looking for something to do, you want to lend a hand? She's just like her daughter. And they have a huge family house. Holy moly days. It must be because they have such a big family. This is, Well, duh. You know what I mean, guys. This is so awesome. All right. Was there something else over here? <gasps> Look at the hibiscus. I'm so excited. Oh, and let's see. Uh, let's say you hate one, but love two. One times one equals one, which means you still hate it. But one times two equals two, so you love it. Um... Uh, 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 okay, that guy was really interesting. And the Mara Ma. There's more to this place than just fish. Almost everything's delicious here. Sometimes I buy way too much. That's so cool. Oh, and then, oh, it's Carolia again. Oh, I wish I knew what I should give her as a gift. Oh, uh, there's just so many people. This is so cool. Oh, hello there. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Uh-oh, you're a stranger. Papa says I shouldn't talk to strangers. Him? Your name is Siri? Okay, now I know, so you're not a stranger anymore. Let me know if you find anything pretty. If you share it with me, I'll be your friend. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Let me give her one of the, um, let's see. Do you think she'd enjoy one of the flowers? Or maybe would she enjoy one of the seashells? Let's see what's cheaper. Uh, let's see. The quills are pretty expensive. Let's give her one of the seashells, because they're the cheapest thing, and I think they're pretty. Yay, I got a present. I got a present. Mahalo, Siri. Oh, she even says thank you in Hawaiian. That is so cute. All right, let's see. Long-tailed blue. And who's this kid? Shkalk? Oh my gosh, you're an interesting child for sure. I haven't seen you here before. You must have just moved here, huh? I'm Shkalk. My dad's Zahu, the best fisherman in the whole town. What's your name? Siri, huh? Okay. I don't know much about farming, but if you're looking for someone to play with, I know all the best games. Good to meet ya. Oh, that's so cool. And I just hit me. So these kids, they're 
related to Kaolia, but Kaolia is not the mother of the priestesses, I think. I think that she is... Oh, hello there! Yeah, she's she's not related to the priestesses. I got it mixed up a little bit. The priestesses are related to the elder. And I don't think Kaolia was the daughter... They're, like, who knows how the family tree works out? I'll figure it out. If you ever get thirsty, come to the Carousia Cafe for a break. We have lots of tasty drinks. That's so cool! Ilua? Luca, excuse me? Coco, uh, como mai? Welcome to the Carousola. Oh, it's just you. Dang, I actually gave you my best customer service smile. Wow, you're some priestess. Alright, so we'll work on figuring out their favorite things in the future too. But we have some shops I want to start looking at pretty soon. So let me wiggle this way. Hello, general store person. Fitu, huh? The general store Jamba Mala. We sell many things that no farmer should be without. How can I help you? Hmm, how can you help me, my friend? So, it looks like the basics... A mango seedling? What the heck? What? A fruit that bears... A tree that bears fruit in the summer. It takes about two months to bear its first fruit. And continues to bear fruit every three to four days throughout the season. What? Oh my gosh. Banana? There's mango and bananas that I can grow? <gasps> That's so exciting! Oh my goodness. Alright, Fatu. I don't think I can do too much with you just yet. And then this is Quinn. Today I'm gonna sell, sell, sell. I'm aiming for a new sales record. Wow, there's a lot of like business oriented people here. All right, there's a cute house. Let's see, <gasps> another quill. Oh my gosh, there's so many quills on the ground, you guys. Oh, come here, come here, little white morpho. Look at the German shepherd. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And a well. I could harvest water from the well. And what's the, an avocado tree. I just found an avocado tree. This is amazing. A green fruit that has a huge seed in it. When it becomes squishy to the touch, that's the best time to eat it. I can't believe there's wild avocados. This is the best. Look, 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 there's more quills. Oh, I can't jump over that. Okay, never mind. Let's wiggle our way over. I want to harvest more stuff. Oh, hey, it's this guy. <gasps> what is that? Is that a pink chicken? I'll do practically anything as a handyman, but and let's see. The vast majority of my work is construction or repair of some kind. Sometimes I've even gone out to look for lost cats or done research for people, though. Kind of crazy, huh? Hmm. If there's ever th anything you need done on your farm, come see me, yeah? Nah, it won't be a bother at all. Seriously, it's okay. I'm here to help. Oh, no. He could be... Ludus could be quite addicting to talk to, I think. I always bring a shopping list with me so that I don't forget to buy anything. Hmm, it looks like this place... Is closed on Sundays and Thursdays, and it's a Sunday. Gotcha. Oh, and what's this? <gasps> Vanilla beans? You're kidding me! What? What? Vanilla beans? Oh my gosh. A plant that you can extract vanilla essence from. The distinct vanilla flavor comes from its seeds. Oh my gosh. And what is... It's a cuckoo! It's not a pink chicken! It's a cuckoo bird, you guys! Like a cockatiel! What? What am I going to do with this? And there's a Siamese kitty cat. And again, these cats represent um, animals that you can eventually get as pets. But they are just placeholders. You can't have those specific animals. There's peacocks. There's peacocks. There's peacocks. I'm holding a peacock with a rainbow tail. That was the silence of total awe. And there's... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's calla lilies. Oh my gosh, there's quills on the ground everywhere. I'm gonna be rich. Oh my goodness. Can I go into these? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I oh my goodness. <laughs> there's peacocks. There's calla lilies. There's bird feathers that I can collect to sell. There's butterflies everywhere. Those There's peacocks. There's, 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 there's peacocks. There's rainbow peacocks. I'm blown away. I am so happy and blown away right now. There's all sorts of different... Oh my gosh, there's more monkeys. There's all sorts of things here. I just can't even handle how amazing this is. <laughs> there's swallowtail butterflies. No, I don't want to go do that. I'm actually scared of monkeys. There's breadfruit, vanilla beans. We found breadfruit, vanilla beans. We have found avocados. I can't handle this. This is too amazing. A, a giant green fruit. It, uh, If heated, the texture becomes like bread. For some reason, it can be made into breadcrumbs. Oh my goodness. Can I talk to... I, I can pick up... 
I can pick up the monkey. I can pick up the monkey. There's a key cat. There's... I'm... I'm... This is just the, the stuttering of shock at how fantastic this is. I'm so happy. There's another bird! There's wild parrots just hopping around. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. I'm so amazed. I am so happy. Let's look at the inn. This has been an amazing day. There's a Tibetan Mastiff. There's a freaking Tibetan Mastiff named, named Paora. This is amazing. Tototara? Como mai? Will you be staying the night? There's nothing more pleasant than waking up to the sound of gently crashing waves. Oh, this makes me want to go back to Hawaii so bad. <laughs> I'm kind of in shock. I'm going to offer the, the elder my moondrop flower from elsewhere. Oh, I do rather like this moondrop flower. You have good judgment. Mahalo. That's so nice of her. So you suddenly decided to become a farmer at such a young age? You're quite brave. I approve of youths who have ambition. That's so different than my dad. <sighs> Whew, I'm too happy. I, I, I know I've mostly just spent this entire time going, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. But you guys, how amazing is this? The, the rainbow peacocks were truly like the cherry on top. What's happening? Lunch break is over now. We're open for business. <gasps> and now all the shops open up even though it's evening? This is so cool. Oh, hey, Siri. Como mai to aqua paza? We have lots of fresh fish and other great food, so buy as much as you'd like. What can I do for you today? You got it. What do you want to buy? You guys. You guys. I'm so happy. I don't need any fish, thank you, Carolia. Carolia. And then there's fruit. There's a fruit salesman. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's bananas. Very expensive bananas. Oh my goodness. And then there's this guy. Uh, the sea breeze is really strong out here, so the buildings tend to take a lot of damage. There's always something for me to repair. What can I give him as a gift? Who knows? I have to try a trial and error. Do you think he'd like? Do you think he'd like a, a avocado? You can't have any of those quills. Look at the yellow quill. Two hundred and twenty. That's like half my radish crop. Cost that much. Um. Do you think he likes an avocado? I'm gonna try giving him an avocado. Let's see what happens. All right. Do this. Hmm. This is for me. I appreciate the thought. All right. Maybe something else like lumber. If he's if he's so obsessed with uh, building and stuff like that. And what's this? Call my to the general store, Polly Polly. Take a look around. Look around. What would you like today? Buy everything. Oh, I wonder if that was the sales girl from earlier. That's so cute. All right, so she doesn't have anything too exciting for me at the moment. There we go. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. I need to wait. No, there's one more thing I want to do. Even though I really should go home now and take care of things. If I want to ship, I need to go home the second. But I'm too curious. I need to try one more thing. I want to try. I want to try fishing. I'm going to try fishing here and I want to see what I get. All right, let's see. You can fish anywhere that there's water, I've heard. So <gasps> look at the size of that fish. Okay, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Is it going to be a shark? Am I going to catch a shark? Come on. Come on. Let's have some of my Animal Crossing luck rub off on me. Come on. Come here, buddy. Oh, it's a it's a it's a giant rock. Well, at least it's a big rock. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna run home. We have got stuff to sell. I am really happy. That's gonna be amazing to be able to zip into a different town like that and be able to visit there. That's just gonna be just totally fantastic. I think did I make it in time to ship stuff? Let's see. I'm gonna keep the. Uh, wait, what? The scallop is worth 300. I'm gonna sell the scallop. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna sell the avocado. I'm gonna sell the breadfruit because I can't cook with these yet. The vanilla I wanna keep though. Um, let's see, the weed can go. The calla lily, it's so beautiful. And I need money, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. I'm gonna pretty much sell everything I collected today. And the quills. I wonder if you wanna keep those for something special? But at the same time, it's such a relief. Okay, I'm gonna sell the coral and half of the seashells. Who knows how long it'll take to get some of these things back. Okay, I'll sell all but like a couple of each of the quills. 
because I don't know if I'm gonna want those for like maybe clothes or something like that and I'm a little hesitant but everything else can go you guys this is amazing this is absolutely fantastically perfectly utterly amazing and i am beyond happy so we have a fantastic new town to visit i am really thrilled about that and tomorrow we are going to be learning about farm circles and probably let's put away this vanilla so that it's safe in here for future use we're going to be working with the farm circles and we will probably learn about hopefully expanding our farm from that guy and I'm really hoping that's the way things will go it'll be really interesting to see if like birthdays and things start showing up for other people Megan let's see what's this oh yeah Carolina's birthday so the other people's birthdays and events have started to show up on our little our little almanac our little calendar as well and this has just been fantastic who knows how much money we're gonna have tomorrow too we're really moving and grooving I can't wait to get a kitchen because the biggest thing holding us back now is just our energy levels I think dad would be proud we're doing absolutely as much as we possibly can I am so in love with that village I hope you guys enjoy it too especially because I'm part Hawaiian that really pulls at my heart to see just that different flavor of things it means a lot to me and I can't wait to see what we can do in the other villages too so enough of my rambling I'm just in shock because that was fantastic and I will see you guys next time bye bye